Fox 61's Keith McGilvery is back on the road this morning celebrating some of the state's most talented young people as part of our Student News Awards tour. This morning he's at Cromwell High School doing some good things. Keith, who do you have with you this hour? Tim, we have more exceptional, both a student and a teacher as well. Every year, the Fox 61 Student News Program teaching kids across Connecticut about journalism and what it takes to put a newscast together. We then look at the best of the best and hand out thousands of dollars in award money. And we haven't had to travel this morning because Cromwell High School is racking it up. Olivia Polkowski, $2,500 for you. You won our hard news category for a story that I think so many parents, students, and families would relate to. We have it here. We have it full screen back at the station. Tell us a little bit about what you did. Yeah, so I thought it was a very important issue to discuss how kids are overscheduled because I know personally, like I struggle through it throughout high school, especially now as a freshman. So this was a great opportunity for me to express how I'm doing so we could improve for the future. What have you taken away from this experience? I know your teachers have said you've worked so incredibly hard, your classmates as well. What have you learned through the process? Gosh, I've learned a lot. I've learned to, you know, really stick with what you know, um, to really focus on like what you want to do and like to really, to really try your best in school because it's all that matters. All right, and so much of this success is attributed to the wonderful teachers across Connecticut who have really stepped up to make this possible. Doug, you teach here at Cromwell High School. You worked with these young people. Three winners here. You've gone through our training. There is a lot that we ask of you. What has the experience been like? Uh, it's been a great experience. I, I love working with uh, video and have been doing that for years. And to see the creativity and the passion come out uh, in the kids' stories, the way they bring them together, uh, really makes it all worth it. High school can be a tough time, I think, for a lot of kids. Talk to me how you have seen these students grow with confidence, with their maturity. Kind of what has that evolution process looked like? For sure. Um, it, it's funny because when we first start out, uh, especially with freshmen in the class, it's usually a mixed class. So, you know, a lot of times they're kind of quiet or uh, a little shy about it, um, afraid to get uh, in front of the camera um, or even saying they don't want to get in front of the camera. And then, you know, once they get going, you really see that grow um, and the, that confidence is there and just seeing the way they're carrying themselves today during these interviews and everything uh, you can definitely see that growth yeah we met Bailey in our last hour Olivia when we watch your piece you are just full of confidence full of energy um, why is it so important that young people be able to tell the stories of Connecticut and that they not just come from from old folks like me well, because it's good to get everyone's voice out there. I feel like it's important for everyone to have, you know, a voice and for me to be able to get this opportunity to share like one of my major concerns about like life in general. It's great. And your advice to somebody who may be a freshman, I'm amazed that that you were just going to be a sophomore for somebody who is new to this world that is a considering our student news program. What would you say to them? I would say don't stress at all. I remember the first day walking in, I was a wreck, but you know, you really get through and it ends up being an amazing experience. All right, well, from our entire team at Fox 61, congratulations. What are you going to do with the money? Um, I'm going to save some. I'll spend some. I was thinking about taking my family out for some dinner, so. <laughs> but otherwise, I'm going to go shopping and enjoy. There you go. A socially distanced dinner on Olivia. Congratulations, Doug. Thank you for your time. You. Please join us again next year. The tour is hitting the road tomorrow morning. Hoping to get one or two more stops out of the storm tracker as we continue to give away prize money to some talented and deserving students across the state of Connecticut. The Student News Awards Tour with Fox 61's own version of Ed McMahon on the road again tomorrow starting at 7. Tim Lammers, some impressive students this morning. Yes, and uh, you certainly drew the short straw getting to hand.